Hi everybody. Um, I was off for a while. It was because my PlayStation 4 got damaged and I didn't get one until a few days back. And the reason for the title, yes, um, I'm calling, um, trying to get a hold of a YouTuber named Polecat. Um, recent being, I want to do a few things on the crew that I wanted him to watch because he's a YouTuber I follow and if anybody want to go to his YouTube channel, his name is Polka, he's been doing some crew too and some other stuff also as Bay Bug so the reason I'm doing the video is because I know that he's been having some issue on the crew too. So I'm just doing a little rundown for things. So that some things make a little bit more sense. Alright, so first thing, that sound. That means that there's a package nearby. So you gotta find your way to where the package is, which I'll probably just do it this way. Because uh, I know I don't know if Poka knew about this, if he's actually do watch this, but that means that there's a package and you have to find it. But I saw um, Bay Bug running and he was like, What's that beeping? Oh, can't go that way. So when you hear that beeping, that means you have to pretty much try to follow the direction. Oh, I didn't mean to hear you. But some places are tricky like this one. I've been here before, so I know you gotta go around. there it is the one thing to remember is you don't have to open it with the vehicle you just had meaning like if you want to once you find it if you want to use a different type of vehicle you can switch to that type of vehicle and it will actually open up the in the pack what's on the package will be for that specific type of vehicle so you have to literally get the vehicle that you want to use for that so i'm gonna use this vehicle the catch is that whenever you are in a place like that you have to like do it all over again because it put you on the road So, first thing first, get this package. Then you hold, and voila. Alright, so if Poka is watching, I know you was doing uh, one of those rays where you go from land to water and water to land first of all when you go back to land you gotta try to go straight you went kind of sideways you hit the thing but the thing is one thing i noticed the you did oh i pressed the wrong button being a while since I played, so you know, give me one second. 
So one thing that I notice you have issue with is that's how you do that. The boat. <laughs> I need to be closer to the So on the boat one thing is if you have an analog your left analog the one that allow you to turn if you press down you hit the throttle so see so that's why they were going faster than you so you have to remember to keep the throttle down to go faster and you were talking about how they turn so easily the thing is when you need to turn quickly you press up and you slow down so that's up this is normal and this is pressing down so that is three speed that the boat have I better you press a little you was doing this if you see on the left but if you press all the way down you go faster and then of course so that's one of the things that you was having issue with All right, so I noticed also you was doing on one of your activity the freestyle. You was doing some demolition derby. I do this one to give you an insight on the demolition derby as well. Um, I saw bug um, running, bay bug, and I noticed he saw a ghost while he was running on the street and when you see those ghosts what you have to do is um, I just break a record or there's some activity there that's why you see ghosts sometimes or one of your friends did something one. right so the trick about this is try to hit them from the side we asked ourselves what would make Demolition Derby even more fun than getting hit by other drivers? Answer, getting hit by the arena itself. And remember, it's better... Oh. oh, I'm getting killed. One of our special new modifiers just appeared. Or, as I like to call them, Mayhem Makers. So, they change up the game and will appear throughout the event. Might want to grab it before someone else does. Those things, they just pop up. Some of them give you different abilities. And the way to do this, the more cards you hit back to back, the more points you get. If you ruin a car, if you see a car smoking, try to hit it. The harder you hit it, the better. And that's how you do it. You try to keep on um, hitting cars and try to stay on top like that. I see that smoking car right there. If I can damage him. Only five points. Don't feel bad if you get hit. I got walloped so much testing these things, I've still got bruises. Oh, that's doing as good, but you get the idea out of how this one works. Oh, crap. That's not good. So... The main thing, just remember to always look behind you to see where other people are. So then there's stuff inside here or inside the other one. Remember, those traps aren't just there to get you. If you're smart, you can push your opponents into them. Want me to show you how? Oh, I can get that guy. Oh, 
Huh. So that means hard to tie, man. You want to try to keep moving. So even if it's a tab, you just have to hit people. That's uh. And just like that, I get first place. No, you just gotta try to keep it. Try to stay away from the walls if you can. Try to predict where people are going. Oh, try not to get hit. Because I hit two people back to back like that, I was able to get those points. So you just gotta keep trying and trying, and if they are sideways, the better. So see that guy? So I get extra point because he was dying. That enough mayhem for you? Because if not, there's always room for more. So, and that's one way to get first place. Of course, it get harder from here, you know, but let me see. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the other race are pretty so explanatory, but you know, if you have any comment or anything you might be having issue with, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. And by the way, Polka, if you are watching this, Congratulations on making on finally making it to Icon because I seen some of the old videos and stuff like that and to be honest once you make it to Icon it's like a relief because then you just your number just start going up and up and up and you know I don't know you or anything but I mean you don't know who I am obviously but you know I was trying to get the game for the computer, but my computer is not good enough, so I cannot join you in any games. If, but maybe in the future, if I get a better computer and you up for it. So, you know, good luck on the crew. I hope you do better on the races. And oh, one last thing. I don't mess with this much myself because I don't know how to deal with it. My friend does. But when you go to your vehicle, right? There's this right here. Let me see. On your vehicles, when you go to your vehicle, you go to performance. You see that way it says pro settings on the bottom? When you press the button for pro settings, you can change your drift assist, your... They do different things. Traction control, one direction make it, put it to the front of the vehicle, one direction put it to the back of the vehicle, the middle give you a four wheel drive, tire grip, front, so you can change this if you know how to do it to make your car run f better and it'll give you more power me i'm not good at it so i don't change it i have a friend who his car run like really fast and turn really good because he know how to deal with this area but i don't know that much about gearboxes or any other stuff so but if you you can play with that see how your car run after that and then you can always reset it back to default. And then other than that, I'm sure you know about the parts, but let me give you a rundown real quick. Like for example, actually let me go with this car, which will make it easier. When you have a car, you try to get all the gr yellow parts. So, this right here, if you don't know what things mean, you can you do this right here to scrap for parts. 
So what you do is the part you don't want no more. You can go here. Let me show you. If you go to pilot, go to I believe is icon point. So here it is on the icon points. You use that for different things. So you know this little circle means loot drop increase loot drop by seven percent. This will mean how lucky your loot is. So the higher this one is, the better quality loot you get. Then you can read through everything what it does. What if you don't know what they mean? You can come here to look at them. Increase loot drop, right? Why is it good to know this? And lucky loot drop. What you do is you go here, you go back to your vehicle. And when you go to your vehicle, you see how all of them have different icon on the top with different meaning. So let's say for example, this means the magnet, the bring the loot and all that stuff so on so forward. But you want to try to make all of them the same because once you get all of them to be the same, you will get a certain drop. But how do you do that? You go to your tire, right? Then you press affix tabs. See the it says set bonus. You go to the affix. Okay, you say affix on the bottom. You press that button. Then what you do is right here say it give you all this thing that you have right remember all those parts that you collected like I have 149,000 right so what you do is you go here let's say it tell you there what it does increase distant detection of the drag bumper And then it has increased speed while ahead of vehicle by 3%. I want to change that one. So I hold the X. And then it gives me the choice, right? So which one do I want to keep? Rear drag is the one that I have. It gives me another rear drag. But see, this one is 3%. This one is 5.7. But this one increased my nitro power by 3.5. So I spent the 1000 gear point for that or whatever they call it. So I picked that one. Now I have that. You can do that as much as you want to. If you want to change it around. Until all your legendary parts becomes the way that you want them. So that's another thing you can do to make your car faster. So and you can do that with all these parts until you make them match. But see, even though I did what I just did to the tire, if I go back and I spend that money again, it's a little bit more expensive now, but I spend that money again. Now I get this one, 4.6, so sometimes it's not better, so I just keep this one because it's better, but eventually, uh, if I want to change this right here, I just have to get the parts that I want, like me personally, I'm trying to get this type of part where you give me better parts. But at the same time, once I get the better parts, like this one, they give me better parts. It's good the fact that I can use it on any other vehicle that it, the match the, the street race. So every street race, I can switch the parts with them. 
Let's see. I always try to match it as much as I can. Let's see. I mostly try to match them the same, so this one match most of the one that I have for the motorcycle. Then the one that I use this, I just trading for points. I have so many of these parts that I will pick the ones that I ra that I will use the less. And then that's the better the part, the more points you give you. So the part you're not gonna use, but always keep a few parts because if you get a better vehicle. Let's say for example you get a better vehicle than this one, let's say you want to replace the motorcycle I would go and I would switch all the parts to a different part And put the yellow part on the on the new motorcycle that I'm gonna use more So always keep a few parts so that you can downgrade if you need to to save it for a better vehicle and I think that's it about this so any question comment like the video and of course try to have fun out there and i hope to hear from you polecat if you do watch the video i made this video specifically because i saw you playing the crew again and i'm a big fan of yours so i saw you playing the crew again so I figure I'll give you a few pointers on the game that you're struggling with a little bit. And once again, congratulations on making it to Icon 1. That's a big milestone. And just do races that will give you a lot of points. And before you know it, you'll be catching up to me on the Icon. All right. Dragging out, everybody be good to each other out there. And if for any chance, if Bug Bay Area catch this video too, I appreciate it, man. I'm a big fan. Yeah, free, promo free promotion. You guys have a good one.